Hi everybody, I'm Joyce and you're watching Joyce IRL. That was delicious! I did good. I finished all my Christmas shopping this weekend and as a little gift to myself, I got this. Can you guys see it? It's a Portal 2 turret skin. To be perfectly honest, when I ordered this from Valve, I thought it was going to be an actual case. Turns out it was just a sticker, the skin. But it's still pretty cool. Whatevs. Anyway, on with the news. EA's response to Syndicate ban, Kojima's new project, and Gears of War 3 DLC. Yesterday when I spoke about the Syndicate reboot being completely banned from the entire continent of Australia, I also mentioned that EA was working on a response to the situation, and alas, they've come up with one. EA starts off by saying Australia's rating policy, which basically prevents adults from playing these violent games, is regrettable. But they say they will not appeal the refused rating, because at this point, Let's face it, what could they do? EA was already aware that Australia's rating system didn't allow for these mature games to be sold in Australia, but they were encouraged by the prospect of them actually coming up with one, which is why they submitted the game for approval. But unfortunately, that didn't work out so well for them. EA's PR lady says they hope policymakers will create a policy that keeps up with today's market, and that adults will finally have the choice as to whether or not they can buy and play the game, because that's what you should be able to do in the 21st century. Am I right? Yes. Now this made me chuckle a little bit. I got a comment from a viewer who lives in Australia and he says the weird thing about the policy is the box will say MA15+, plus, but the actual disc will have the R18 rating printed on it. What? Figure out your shiz, policymakers. Hideo Kojima, the man behind the Metal Gear series. Well, since Platinum Games is taking over Metal Gear Rising, it seems he's got a lot of free time on his hands because he just recently told CNN that he is working on a new IP. Now, of course, in typical Kojima fashion, he didn't give much detail. Why would he? Except for the fact it's codenamed Project Ogre, and that instead of being a really cinematic game, it would be an open world game where people are free to explore and wander, and where they can find new content even after like a hundred hours of gameplay. He released some images on Twitter that show this game is going to be very different from what he's made in the past. So take a look. You see soldiers and tanks, which means clearly this is nothing like the Metal Gear series. There is another image of something that I've never seen before in a video game, uh, seeing undergarments through clothing, and what he claims to be an original system for creating avatars. My guess is he was very inspired by Skyrim and the success of Skyrim, and if that's the case, I'm really excited to see what it'll be like. Gears of War 3 Phoenix Rising DLC has been announced and is also introducing a new experience system. The DLC will include five new multiplayer maps. Now there is way too much detail to go into these maps, so if you want to know more about them, go ahead and click on the link that I provide for you below. Here's how the new experience system works. Once a player reaches level 100, you can re-up, which basically means you can redo the mission again. You can do this up to three times. Now each time you redo the mission, you will get a new custom skin for your weapon that you cannot get any other way. I forgot to mention, four new character skins are also part of this DLC. Again, lots of details, so go ahead and check the link below if you want to know more information. Another thing, this entire pack costs only $10. That's a huge deal, I think. And if you already have the season pass, you're set. This new DLC pack comes out next year on January 17th. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for my show today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I wish I could give you a hug, big hug in person, but here's a virtual hug. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you really liked it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.